What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be doing the part two of the loft build. So in the last video, you guys watched us frame it all up and get the drywall on. In this video, we're gonna finish up the drywall with the mud, tape, and corners. We're gonna do the flooring, and then we're gonna do some baseboard around the inside of that and then trim out the outlets and stuff. My friend Seth is coming up to help. He knows how to use all this mud and tape and he's gonna show me how and help me. And then we're gonna get this knocked out and then move to the flooring and baseboard. This is the mud that we're gonna be using. We got a scissor lift here to do it. So as soon as Seth shows up, he's gonna show me what I need to do and how I can help him and we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with these corners. We're gonna get them all the way around here and then we'll go to the next step. All right, guys, well, we're done with the first coat on the entire thing. But yeah, it turned out good. Seth was a huge help on this. He's teaching me how to do it and helping a ton. So huge shout out to him. All right, so it's been a few days now and Seth is back up here helping me again. Right now, first step is we're scraping off all the high parts on this from the other day. So we can get another nice smooth base for our next coat that we're gonna do. You can see how much better it already looks just with scraping it off. And then we're going to do another thicker coat this time, cover it all back up, and then let it dry for a few more days. All right guys, well it's the third day and we are gonna start on the third coat and the texture coat. So down here on the ceiling, we're gonna be doing a skip trowel texture and we're gonna be doing that in sections. So Seth is gonna show us how to do it. He's gonna do like one little corner here and then work his way around. And then out here on the walls, we're gonna be doing holy smooth. So this doesn't have as much texture in it. So we're gonna take a little bit longer to sand down the high edges on this wall section and then we will do the texture coat. So let's get started.
All right, so we're doing the texture coat right now on the walls. So this is what's called Holy Smooth, and we're trying to match all the existing walls while Seth's doing it. I think he's doing a really good job. We'll come back through and sand this down, all the high edges, and kind of smooth it out. All right, guys, it's another day now. We're gonna start priming this. So all the sanding is done. We've done a ton of cleanup. So we're gonna use some Kills primer, and then this is the paint that matches the rest of the shop. So you can see we've got a tape line on here. We're gonna throw the primer on this stuff, let it dry, and then hopefully get the first coat of paint on tonight. All right, guys, well, I'm really excited to say that all the mud tape and paint is done. So you can see we got that white semi-gloss exterior paint. It blended in really well, actually. I mean, like, look up by the door. You can't even see where we patched that sheetrock. Ended up doing an extra coat on here just to make it all match, but it looks amazing. Couldn't be happier with how it turned out. It was Seth's first time doing this texture. And I think that we figured it out and we did it perfect. So you can see we did another patch here. You can't even tell that that's been painted. And then all the half walls up here are done. So another look over here by the bedroom where we patched that. I, I can't even see the lines of where we did it. So super happy with that. All right guys, well it's been a while since we worked on the loft. We've already brought some stuff up here. We've been using this area, it works really good but we finally got the rest of the parts that we need to finish it up. So we're gonna move all this stuff out of here, clean the floor really good. And we have some carpet tiles here. This is a pill and stick carpet tile. So the reason we went with this is this is a high traffic area and we have dogs. So if anyone spills anything or if the dogs make a mess, we'll be able to peel these up and replace them really easily. So we're gonna move everything and get it all clean. And then I'll show you guys how to lay out this carpet. All right, so with carpet squares, you can stagger them however you want. You can do them all the same direction or opposites. This is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start with the arrows facing this way and then into the wall and then this way all the way down the line. And then on the next row, we'll just do the exact opposite and then continue that pattern all the way across. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is one row at a time. That way we can vacuum the next row right before we lay it down and try to keep as much dust out from underneath it as we can. So we're gonna set you up on the tripod and get this row done right here.
All right, well, I ripped off the existing baseboard that was right here. We got a fresh piece going all the way across. At the joints, you're gonna to wanna to do 45 degree cuts. That way it hides them a little bit better. These are already cut and ready to go, so I'm gonna grab my brad nailer and get them nailed up. All right guys, well we just finished the last of the baseboard. All that's left is caulking it and then painting the caulk. I'm not gonna bore you with that in this video. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next week and here's the finished product.